Hi everyone, this is uh well my new username is Geeked Up Swag. Now this is my first commentary, so you know I'm not really too used to it. Cut me some slack. So, you know, take it easy on me. Let me know how I do. Now, the quest of the day, or the quest that you're gonna see me doing today, is Tears of Guthics. Now this is supposed to be a very short quest. Uh, I already tried starting it, but um, I never quite finished it, so I might as well just get it over with. So, anyways, the only requirements you're going to need a chisel, a pickaxe, sapphire, cut gem that is, a uh, rope, Spiny helmet, tinderbox, bullseye, and you're probably going to need a lantern. I mean, a, a lit candle. Now, if you do not know how to get this bullseye lantern, uh, I'm real sorry. If you do not know how to get this bullseye lantern, um, you can easily get it. You can buy one at the Grand Exchange. Then you can bring a swamp tar which you can find right here you can bring one of those go to Remington and I think the guy's name is the chemist or the professor or something like that you talk to him you and he teaches you how to uh, how to just light it using the swamp tar and um, if you don't want to buy if you don't want to uh, pick it up right here you can I think they cost like one coin in the grand exchange swamp tar so you know, if you don't want to make your way to Lumbridge Swamp. Now the reason I can't show a map is because the map is down today. I don't know what the hell is up with it, but it's down. But anyways, let's get started with the quest. And before I go on, before I forget, in case you were going to buy a candle from this guy right here, the candle seller, he they cost 1k, so you know keep that in mind if you were planning on buying one when you got there. Now let's make our way into the cave. Okay, now here we are. It is pretty dark, so please, you know, be aware that I think this guy's following me, but oh well. Be aware that um you will need to light your uh, candle. Just give me a minute. Oh, Jesus, how how do I forget how to do this? There we go. All right. Anyways, let's make our way to. I think it was like a snake named Juna. Just follow my lead, and you'll know how to get there. Now these bastards, they try to, uh, try to, you know, grab you by the head. It's like a dragon's armor. I don't, I really don't know what they are, but they come out of nowhere, and that's what the, oops, uh, sorry about that, but that's what the, uh, the spiny helmet is for. They try to grab you by the head, and since you have these spikes, well, they just hurt themselves, so. I'll make your way across. Nice and easy now. Now go into this tunnel. You can't even notice it, but it's right here. If you have trouble at any point seeing what I'm doing, what I'm clicking, or anything like that, just uh, just take a look over here at the map. Well, maybe not clicking, but just take over here at the map. You know, in case you lose yourself. Yourself. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I already spoke to her. But basically what you need to do is you talk to her and you um, and you just talk to her and uh, she asks you to tell her a story. Now you just keep clicking and clicking and clicking and finally you ask her about Tears of Guthix. I believe it should appear like the one in the very bottom. 
and she starts telling you about it and shows you some rocks you need to mine. Uh, I'm sorry, you know, I wasn't able to uh, show you it, but uh, and then you talk to her again. Once she start, once she's done speaking to you, you talk to her again, and she asks you to tell her another story. So you uh, you click on I think it's okay, like with two or three periods, and you start telling her about all your adventures and whatnot and all of that stuff. And that's that's when she tells you a little tip about uh about what you need to do, and she tells you about these rocks you need to mine. So once you do that you need to extinguish this lantern right here let me just get it off right there okay and I believe you use the sapphire on it there we go and now the uh, tender box right there and you have it lit so now what you're gonna need to do is now where are these Okay, you see these little flying uh, like balls of light, I guess you can say? You click use, then you use it on this, it starts coming towards you, and this is the part that I think is really cool. It actually carries you right over, so just let it do its magic. pick a rock I guess any rock to mine swing and I find a stone you find a magic stone so uh, just uh, use your chisel right there we go and you have a stone ball now make your way back same deal you just right click on the uh, sapphire lantern click use and well you already know the deal use it again on the uh, the magic light creature well, it almost looked like I fell that right there so anyways Make your way back to Juna. And speak to her. Yadi yadi yadi. And there we go. Quest complete. One quest point. 1000 crafting experience. And access to the Tears of Guthix Cave. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you'd like. Um, let me know how I did. 